here with Jacqueline and we're about to come into this room of mammalogy and ornithology. Yeah, take a look at this. Wow, can't wait to explore this, but look right here, we got owls and birds of prey. Birds of prey right here. Yeah, you see this? Pretty cool, right? We got more birds right here. Hmm. Eggs right here. Oh wow. Look over here. Look at these right here. Hawks and eagles and falcons. Pretty cool, right? Eh? right here. Yeah, that one's a golden eagle, that one's huge. Oh, look at these right here. Very large birds of prey. See these right here? Oh, very oh, small hawks right there. Yeah, these birds are big. Very big birds, right? Yep, that's pretty cool. I'm here with Barley and we're here looking at a bear exhibit. Yeah, check out these big bears. We got a black bear and then we got a grizzly bear. Let's come over here. Yeah, you see this black bear right here? Yeah, not the biggest that we've seen, but still pretty big in its own right. Yeah, very big black bear right here. See him? Yeah, the f reflection's not very good. Yeah, the reflection's giving us a hard time, so we got American black bear right here. So we got a black bear right here, and right here we got a grizzly bear. So yeah, a grizzly bear is much bigger compared to this black bear. So yeah, you see the grizzly right there? Yeah, very very big stocky bear, very big beast. So yeah, we got a grizzly bear compared to a black bear. And we probably can't tell because this bear's not standing on its hind legs, but we think that the bear we saw at the El Paso Museum of Archaeology was much bigger than this. Also much scarier looking. But yeah, we don't really know because this guy's not on his hind legs. So he'll probably be very big though. So yeah, you want to see the differences between grizzly bears and black bears. And then often the case, black bears aren't always black. Sometimes they're brown, like a grizzly bear. But the way you could tell the difference between black bears and grizzly bears is that grizzly bears have arched shoulders compared to black bears. And remember that grizzly bears are much larger. So that's one of the differences. So yeah, and also grizzly bears have like have much longer claws than black bears. So yeah, these are some pretty big bears. And we've also been very close to a black bear, like at the Alamogordo Zoo. Feel free to check out our zoo videos. We've been very close to black bear. And then we've also seen a black bear three times out in the wild. But yeah, and this is probably the furthest we were from the wild black bear. That's the closest we've ever gotten to a wild black bear. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, we see bears all the time out in the wild. Now we're here with Arliss, the coyote. We're gonna look at some more exhibits right here. Check out this badger. Yeah, that's the American badger right there. Yeah, see him, read the information if you'd like. Yeah, he may look cute, but this is actually one of the fiercest, most savage animals in the world. Yeah, right behind the honey badger of Africa, this guy had a very savage attitude. Yeah, I wouldn't want to run into this small but dangerous little guy. Yeah, that's a badger right there. American badger. It's actually kind of small compared to the other ones that we've seen before. So yeah, here's a badger, and then here's a bat. Right there, you see a bat. One of the only, one of the world's only flying mammals. And we got more bats right here. See the bats? And right there, we got a ring tail. Right there, you see how it kind of has raccoony or lemur-like tail. Yeah, pretty bizarre-looking little animal, right? And yeah, all these animals that we're showing you are here in the southwest of the United States, so they can be seen out here. Now yeah, we got a porcupine. 
Yeah, because you wouldn't want to hug that little prickly pink cushion. So yeah, that's a porcupine. Don't want to give that walking pig cushion a hug, like hugging a cactus. There was a good defense mechanism. We invited Skidmark and Timber here with us because you see a skunk right there. Yeah, you better keep clear of that guy because you're not going to like what happens next. Going to release a smell so odorous and so nasty, you're not going to be able to stand the smell. So yeah, you see the skunk there, Skidmark? Yeah, it's pretty cool. When we ran into this guy in the wild a couple of times. Yeah, we have. Thankfully, we didn't get sprayed though. Feel free to check out that video because yes, we do have a video. And Timber, you want to check out this beaver? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool beaver right there. Yeah, one of the one of nature's greatest construction workers. Building dams, block water, create lakes. Yeah, you see that flat tail, webbed feet, those teeth that used to chop down trees and chop through wood. Yeah, very busy beavers. Jacqueline, you see those rabbits right there? Yeah, desert cottontail and a uh, jackrabbit. Yeah, jackrabbits are not small. The largest could probably be about the size of a small dog. Yeah, we got rabbits out here. And then we got a gray fox. Normally when people think of foxes, they normally think of the red fox, but this one's actually gray and it lives out here in the deserts. Yeah, gray fox, sly, sneaky creatures. So yeah, we got a fox right there. Pretty cool fox, right? And then right here, our list, do you see this one? Oh yeah, I sure do, Linkser. Yeah, here's a coyote. Yeah, we see these guys all the time out in the wild. Sometimes we even hear them howling out in the distance because we live right next to the open desert. Sometimes we even see these guys running up and down our street. Yeah, probably the largest could probably be about the size of a large dog. Yeah, you see this coyote hunted in packs a lot like wolves do wild species of canine, so here's a coyote. Pretty cool coyote, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool to hear the howling. So yeah, we got coyotes so here all. Here's one part of the animals section, but we still got more to show you, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Now I am here with Kruger, and take a look at these. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Okay, so right here we got a little rock squirrel, and cute squirrels. And then we got these, they look like wild pigs, don't they? Yeah, but we hear that they're not actually related to pigs. So yeah, that's kind of crazy, right? Then some of our favorites, Kruger, there's a mountain lion right there. And then there's a bobcat right there. So yeah, these are the wild cats out here in the southwestern United States. Yeah, Kruger's are the fourth largest species of cat and the second largest cat in America. Right behind the jaguar, which is the largest cat in America. And then. Lion's the second largest cat in the world, and Tiger's the first largest cat in the world. So yeah, we got cougars. And cougars are actually one of the most adaptable animals ever in the Americas. They live all over North and South America in every habitat and environment in the Americas. Yeah, swamps, deserts, mountains, rainforest. Yeah, they live everywhere. All over the North and South American continent. So yeah, we got and they have that long tail to help them remove, maneuver through rocky terrain. Yeah, and they're also very fierce. Fourth largest cat in the world. Yeah, very fierce cougars, solitary cats. And then bobcat right there. Yeah, bobcats were twice the size of a house cat. So yeah, we got bobcats right there, you see it? Yeah, we've been up close to the, both these creatures. We've been up close to the cougar at the El Paso Zoo and close to the bobcat at the El Mogordo Zoo, so feel free to check out our zoo videos. Pretty cool, right? So we got cougars, bobcats, and we've been up close to them face to face. Yeah, pretty cool, very dangerous animals, right? Yeah, cats are not to be messed with. These are no Kit Kats, they were very fierce predators. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Yep, and these can also be found out here in the deserts of El Paso. Pretty cool. Awesome bobcat and mountain lion. Yeah, cougars went by many names. Cougar, mountain lion, catamount, puma, panther. They get ghost cat. Yeah, it goes by many names. We got birds right here. Yeah, pretty cool birds, right? Roadrunners, we see roadrunners all the time. Yeah, we see roadrunners. And then we also see ravens all the time. Yeah, and then owls as well. See these owls? Yeah, we see these birds all the time. 